I know you're napping around here somewhere. On your feet and back to work already, yeah? Ugh, finally. Come on, sunshine, up and at him. Get up already! Ugh, I'm sorry. What's going on? What's going on? <sighs> Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. Looks like there's hope for you yet. Back off, you sack of guts. I'm just resting up for the battle. Yeah, well, the battle's on our doorstep, so you're lucky I like you enough to wake you. You heard who we're up against, yeah? Geralt's mercenaries. Gonna be one hell of a fight, if true. Especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I've heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? Leave it to you to fumble the details. <laughs> did you? Of course I did. It was... I, by the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. It? Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. Well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come a long way since I plucked you from that mountain village. But this battle is about more than just victory. Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor has it they've never blundered even a single job. But once we put them to rout, We'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester! Enemy activity detected, Captain! Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Mind you don't kill each other in the dark. Wasn't expecting a fight so soon, but I guess there's nothing for it. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Good luck, friend. And double to you.
All right, let's get down to business. We're up against Gerald's mercenaries. Let's move out! Drive them straight into their graves! Yeah? Time to see what you're made of. Are these guys new recruits or something? Guess this means I can mess with them a little. Yeah. Over this way, yeah? You get the one over there. Can't wait to wrap this up so we can all drown ourselves in ale. Keep your eyes open. Yeah. 
We still don't know if the Ashen Demon is here. is here. We're saved. Now push, push the enemy back. About time a foe with some teeth showed up, but they still don't stand a chance against Burling's mercenaries. Now, isn't this a sight? You must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. This will be the end of the Ashen Demon. No one can beat the captain. What? Captain? <laughs> they took out Lasley like she was nothing. I can't believe I'm losing to some damn kid. Captain Burling's in trouble. We have to reach her before it's too late. There's so many of them. Only one thing to do about that. Stand down or die. We're gonna stand, we're gonna fight, and we're gonna yeah. avenge the captain. <laughs> Why am I so scared? It's just one Merc. of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. Don't 
interesting. You're fighting like an entirely different person. No escape! That's enough! We did what we came to do. Everyone, fall back! Witness my trip! Sorry, but this fight is over. Hey, wait! Why? We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop. Another time. Hey, we're not done. Huh? Oh, good. You're awake. Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. Yeah. Who are you? Ha! Now that is a tricky question. For the moment, why don't you call me Arval? Arval, huh? But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. Right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. Um, thank you? Oh, oh my. That's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. Hear me well. You are a crucial piece of this world's cyclical... Uh, no, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. For now, I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will. I don't understand. I'm already up and about. Ah, perhaps here you are, but not in reality where it counts. <laughs> your cluelessness is actually quite charming. I think you're starting to grow on me. Still, the important thing is what you do after you wake. And what should that be? Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you. Came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, you will reach the same conclusion. This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. Then I'll get stronger. The man I am now will seem like a little kid in comparison. And one day, I will surpass the Ashen Demon. I swear it. Indeed. My captain and comrades are dead. The company is finished. So, there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you'd be more sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? Gold's the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Partings just come easy to me, I guess. The best way to honor my fallen comrades is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Gerald's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit. Though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. The point is that I'm here to guide you, and I promise to help you find the strength to see your dreams realized. Prologue. A chance encounter. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a goddess, has existed for uncountable ages. Now, three ruling powers control the land. To the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. To the north is the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee rules the Leicester Alliance. Though once consumed in war, these three powers now exist in relative harmony. 
Nestled between them is Garag Mach Monastery, seat of the Church of Saros, the land's widely practiced faith and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramire, and west of this place stretches a forest where a lone mercenary awaits. Hey, wake up! Ugh, how many times must we do this? Get up already! Huh? That's weird. I could have sworn I heard someone calling me. It's still dark out, though. Hello? Yes, I was calling you. Many times, I might add. <sighs> Come on, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not for me? I'll tell you. 22. The three times you leapt off a cliff to quote-unquote get tougher saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved you. And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. You're right. This was all my fault, and I'm sorry. Strange. That's exactly what I wanted to hear, yet somehow I'm the one who feels bad now. I must remember this tactic. At any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. And by we, I mean you. And by a few, I mean far, far more than average. Now then, with that out of the way, would you like to know why I've roused you from your mud-caked slumber? Actually, it's probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Hmm? Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Lost, schmast. We've got it on Imperial authority that this is the way to the village. <sighs> True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is in the thick of these mountains? I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as an arrow. Hold, both of you. Someone's here. Another bandit, perhaps? They're mistaking you for some common backwater thief. What cheek. Hold on there. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. Well, that makes everything better. A bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a sellsword. What brings you here? We've no time for an interrogation. Our pursuers are closing in. I don't know who you people are or what you want, but I think introductions can wait. You clearly need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling awfully light lately. What do you say? Well, since you're here, do you mind stepping in and helping us chase off these scary bandits? Don't worry about payment. You'll receive plenty of coins. If we survive, that is. Yeah. 
deal with things here. Watch this! Let me show you a trick for dealing with heavily defended enemies. Be sure to tend to your wounds, little guy. Step, Edelgard. Take a breather. Well, I suppose my turn has a run. Allow anyone to stop Apologies, but it was you or me. Just who are these people anyway? All three of them have crests. What's wrong with you? They're just a bunch of brats. To stop embarrassing yourself and stand your ground already. Yeah. Yeah. Is it clock time? I think it's clock time. Central Road. It would be wise to move through the forest and take down the strongholds as we go. Try and keep an eye on who we're fighting to make sure we've got the right person leading the charge at the right time. How this goes. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Watch this! Take a breather. Down. 
This will help secure our victory. What shoddy defenses? We'll be done before we know it if they're all like this. That ought to unravel their defenses. Enough of this strategy nonsense! Get up there and tear them all to pieces! Okay, how many thugs does this guy have working for him anyway? Repent, foul bandits! The Knights of Seros are here, and we'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. This battle is practically won if the Knights have arrived. The Knights of Seros! Not now! I don't kill at least one of them, friend! I'm finished! Watch out! They're gonna make a last-ditch effort to rush our position. I've got this. Four ranks and capture those bandits. Quickly now. <laughs> Gotta keep aiming higher. to perish here. I'm afraid we must spare no mercy for you. <laughs> Never should have been taken this job. Is it over? Keep aiming higher. I won't let myself stop here. You're seriously the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance? 
Yes. And as the three of us are now in your debt, I think formal introductions are in order. My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld, Princess of the Adrestian Empire. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And I'm Claude von Regan, grandson of the leader of the Leicester Alliance. Things looked grim there for a moment. Thanks to you, we put a bit of a miracle we ran into you out there, but... Oh, I'm sure the three of you could have handled the situation. No need for false humility. We'd likely have perished if not for your- Well, aren't they an unlikely trio? I wonder why those bandits were after them. Still, it's no concern of ours. We have our own plans to attend to. Now, collect your pay and be off before they get a wild idea and ask you to join them. Say, while I have you, do you know where I can find Remire Village? I'm looking for a band of hardened mercenaries who follow a man named Gerald. Actually, Remire might just be the- that ring a bell, Edelgard? I don't remember hearing anything about Mercs, but... The name sounds correct, at least. <sighs> Gerald's too smart to get smoked out by a bunch of rumors, but they're all I've got at the moment. In any case, we won't find our own two feet in all this dark. We should return to camp and get our bearings before... Hello there, house leaders! Hello, brave mercenary! We've mopped up what's left of those rascals, so what say we return to camp? And I insist you accompany us, good mercenary. Who? Me? You heard the man. We'll wait out the night together and make for the village in the morning. It's a great plan, especially if you want to get paid, as we're a tiny bit short on pocket change at the moment. Yes. And those mercenaries you're looking for? Gerald's band, was it? They may be in Ramire Village tonight, but there's no telling when they'll move on. If you come back to our camp, we have maps that may help you get one step ahead of them. This is clearly the wisest course of action, not to mention that I would enjoy conversing with you further. But of course, the choice is yours. Ugh, why can't things ever be simple? All right, no, but just for the night. Perfect. Then might I borrow you for a moment after we reach camp? There's a matter we must speak about. Nothing alarming, I promise you. Right then, so off we go. But, um, if I may, did I hear you mention a Gerald earlier? Yes, do you know him? He heads up a pretty elite band of mercenaries, so I imagine his name is spread all over Fodland by now. Mercenaries, is it? No. No, it can't be him. Can it? Well... I'll just have to meet this Gerald myself. After I've seen my duties through, of course. After all, if I don't finish my assigned tasks, I'm mission the point. Get it? Missing? Mission? Come now, this is good stuff! <laughs> That's our Eloise. Come on, let's get moving before he really gets going. That's concerning. What say you? Another matter. Oh. 
Well, you're certainly not timid. You do realize you're addressing the heir to the Imperial Throne, yes? Still, I suppose I admire that sort of freedom. It must be nice not to have your lot in life decided for you. Well, you're certainly not Tim. Still, Hubert of House Vestra is my attendant. His family is unusual in that they're noble but lack territory of their own. Hubert is deeply loyal to me, and you can trust him completely. In fact, I imagine he's quite grateful for what you've already done. That's Dorothea Arnold. She's an up-and-coming songstress in a famous imperial opera company. Or she was, at least. For some reason, she abandoned her musical career and enrolled in the Officers Academy. She has a very magnetic personality, which I'm sure you'll see. Have you spoken with Ferdinand? One conversation will explain him far better than I can. He's the heir to an influential house, which drives him to excel. But he can be quite the handful sometimes. One of our classmates usually stays holed up in the dormitory instead of coming on these assignments. Her name is Bernadetta. If you bump into her, don't be surprised if she screams and runs away. That's sort of her thing. Kaspar is the second-born son of a great and noble house. But as he's not the heir, you might say he joined the Academy to make his own way. War and fighting are his sole pursuits, so I bet the two of you will get along just fine. Petra isn't from the Empire. She's the granddaughter of the King of Bridget, which is an archipelago situated off our western coast. You'll find her a quick study, a gifted fighter, and endlessly curious. But always come prepared to talk, because she'll definitely want to pick your brain. Surely you know someone like Linhart. He's as bright as they come, yet just as lazy as well. That's simply how he is, though. I can't force him to apply himself, but he'll come around, most likely. On another matter. Ah. Look who has arrived. <laughs> huh? It cannot be. I am on it. Thanks. Hmm. Hmm. Of course. Speaking of, how's that? Who, me? I'm more curious about you, personally. If you don't have anything better to do, I'd be glad to have you join us at Garrick Mach. Have you met him yet? At first, I thought he was real serious and persnickety. But that image shattered pretty quick once I noticed him chatting up every girl in the monastery. Hilda's the only daughter of Duke Goneril. Seems like she had a pretty cushy life growing up. Which means she's gotten into the habit of slacking off and making other people do things for her. He's a pretty friendly guy. Though it'd be nice if he talked about something other than muscles. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. He's had it pretty rough. Don't ever treat her like a child. I made that mistake earlier and she nearly took my head off. But she's clearly the youngest out of this year's students, so I don't get what the big deal is. Just another pampered noble, I guess. Ignatz likes the great outdoors. Definitely more than the rest of us, anyway. He's the second son of a merchant family, but says he wants to be a knight. He doesn't really seem suited for it, though. Maybe his parents are making him do it. 
Oh, Marianne? She's Margrave Edmund's daughter, but that's all I know about her. She doesn't interact with the other students at all. I'll admit, she intrigues me. Leone wants to be a mercenary. I bet you two would have lots to talk about. You're both pretty frank, too. I just hope you're not as obsessed with saving money as she is. Well met. What are your thoughts? Right on. Thanks. I'll do it. Greetings. By the way, It's you! You have my thanks. Speaking of which... Thanks! <laughs> By the way, how about this? Your interest flatters me, but I'm afraid I find myself unsure of where to begin. Perhaps I'll have thought of a topic when next we speak. But uh, you're leaving for that village soon, aren't you? Dedu hails from the land of Dusker. Perhaps you've heard of it. He tends to keep to himself. But he possesses one of the kindest hearts of anyone I know. I'm proud to call him my... vassal. Speak to him, and you'll see why. Felix is the son of Duke Fraldarius. He has a sharp wit, and even sharper tongue. But he's a good person at his core. I can attest to that. He has always admired strength above all else in a fighter. I imagine the two of you will make fast friends. I only first met her here at the Academy. She seems a gentle soul with great inner strength. From what I understand, she has traveled far and wide throughout both the Empire and the Kingdom. Perhaps that explains her demeanor. In the far south of Fargus lies a manor by the name of Castle Gaspar. Ash is the adopted son of that castle's lord, Lenato. He's an honest boy, well deserving of our trust. I'd like to get to know him better someday, should the opportunity arise. Annette is the hardest worker in the entirety of the Blue Lion House. She is truly brilliant. I could stand to learn from her single-minded devotion, if only little. Sylvain is the son of Margrave Gautier. You may have already noticed, but he's something of a womanizer. That may be putting it lightly, in fact. But despite his apparent indifference, he possesses great cunning and is quicker on his feet than anyone else here. I've known him long, so I'm well aware. Ingrid is the daughter of Count Galatea. And she is far more gallant than your run-of-the-mill knight. She has ever been straight-laced and diligent, even when we were but children. It is not an uncommon sight to find her scolding Sylvain for his... indiscretions.
that's concerning. If I'm honest. My sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Ramire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but, well, perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garagmach Monastery instead. And why would I do that, exactly? Because you've done us a great service, and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also, between you and me, this evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officer's Academy out of our sight, and house leaders of great political consequence at that. And then they crossed swords with bandits. If word got out, well, let's just say it would sit poorly with everyone. So you see why we must ensure you are well compensated. Also, there may be some papers for you to sign, perhaps in blood. This sounds more like hush money than a reward. Yes, that's exactly what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, I'd just as soon send you on your way, but I fear I'm obligated to escort you back. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softy. Well, what do you think? Garrick Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be. But this man seems rather set on having us accompany them. You make a poor case, Alois, but I can see where this is heading. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're- Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. Hmm? Told me what? Uh, told you... Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit, I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last ding and dent. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why, take this one here. We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Mock. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might add? I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this considering you're only here because of us. But, well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The Knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. Actually, I see this as just... You are more gracious than I. But, as I see you... Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy. Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp, after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. A skeptic, huh? You know, I may look like a scoundrel, but I happen to be a man of my... Hey! Hurry up back there, or we'll leave you behind! You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself, but what do you make of them? It seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me, every chance he gets. He'll die. Claude's a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble, and I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's gonna be easy to work with. <laughs> of course you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? Still, you'd better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. Prologue. Three Houses.
Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Gehrig Mach's Officers Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gehrig Mach. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of. Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. Eh, it was nothing. <laughs> I see you do. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the officer's academy here at the monastery, yes? We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. Uh, sorry, but the world's got other plans for me. I can't afford to stay here forever. Oh, this would not be forever. You would only be enrolled for one year. Bear in mind that the Knights of Seros and many other powerful warriors pass through these gates. Whether you seek to someday become an officer, or simply increase your own strength... They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. Alright, I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The Academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodlan. Some are noble-born, while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Leicester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join. Yes, you have.
So you wish to join Dimitri's Blue Lions. Are you certain? Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. I can already tell I'm gonna let... Will you now? Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Uh, right. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the church. Professor Yuritsa told me the good news. Welcome to the Blue Lion House. I'm excited for us to learn and grow together. But for now, please, make yourself at home. Our whole house has been buzzing since we heard you were getting assigned here. So we're going to treat you to a welcome feast tonight. <laughs> Assuming you're okay with the fancy offerings at the dining hall, that is. You saved His Highness's life. That means the whole kingdom owes you one. And I can't think of a better way to get to know each other than gathering around the table for a meal. Enough chatter. You're a mercenary, right? How's your swordsmanship? You must have some skill if the boar here give you passing marks. But I won't know for sure until we cross blades at the training grounds. I'll see you there, before dinner. That's no way to talk, Felix. You are being rude. Still, I must admit I'm curious as well. Rumor has it you're quite the exceptional fighter. I'm happy to spar with any of you. Frankly, this brings me right back to my old Merc buddies. Trade blows if you must, but please try not to injure each other. The training grounds can be a little tough to find. Oh, why don't I show you the way later? Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. One wrong turn and you're up in the library staring down the tallest stack of books you've ever seen. Yes, this is the largest monastery in Fodlan, so it's easy to get lost if you let your mind wander. If you struggle to settle in, say so. You helped His Highness. We are in your debt. Remember your mission? We are to stamp out what's left of the Iron King's thieves. If I may, Professor, it seems a bit challenging for a first mission. But their leader, Costas, has already been dealt with. If the Professor thinks us capable of mopping up the rest, I trust his judgment. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Prof... Oh. Professor Yuritsa isn't much of a talker. Or easy to talk to, for that matter. I'm certain you'll get used to him. 
He may be a touch curt, but he's not a bad person at heart. Still, bandit hunting right out of the gate? This is quite the mission. After the events in the mountains, I hesitate to put His Highness in further danger. You worry too much to do. Besides, we have a trustworthy new ally coming with us. We should proceed with caution, though if we keep our heads on straight, there's nothing to be afraid of. Well said. Your Highness, stay close. Don't bother to do. You could grab this soup for brains by the scruff and he'd still squirm loose and charge headlong into battle. Whatever the case, we should be doubly prepared. And we'll be counting on our mercenary friend here to assist us. I won't let you down. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe. Though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there, it's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me! Professor Yuritsa, where are you going? Well, he must have deduced where the bandits are. We should keep pace. Pathetic. Professor, it does not seem wise to charge ahead without... Mm -hmm. What's this? From the look of it, they're bandits. Or they were. Dead by my hand. Whoa. Wait, so are these the bad guys we were after? Most likely. I caught them trying to escape to that fortress. Interesting. That must be their stronghold. In that case, we'd better clean the place out before they harm the nearby villages. They've got their tails between their legs now, so this should be easy. Let's go. Whoa there. Doesn't this whole fortress thing raise red flags for anyone else? I agree. If this is their stronghold, why are there no signs of life? It could be a trap to lure us in. We'll be heroes if we manage to take out... I wouldn't go that far, but I agree we need to investigate, especially if something seems off. The decision is not ours to make. That's right. We're still on a mission, after all. It's up to Professor Yuritsa. And I say, enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. But isn't it dangerous for us to go by ourselves? There can't be more than a handful. You should have no issue... If need be, I will intervene. You sound confident, but I've still got a bad feeling about this. Brace for the worst. No guts, no glory, am I right? Should things go awry, your highness, stay behind me. 
If things go awry, I will fall back. And I expect the rest of you to do the same. I'm more than ready for this fortress. Let's see if it's ready for me. If the Professor's with us, I'm certain we'll be fine. Then it's settled. Stay vigilant, everyone. We'll put the bandits to rout. Follow me. something moving on oh, I made it so this is what real battle is like is bigger than I thought. Split up. I pray they find peace in the grave. A treasure chest. We'll need to find the key. I can get it open without one if you want. I'm not exactly proud of that skill, but... Uh. 
was all ready to grab a nice haul from that chest. And now those intruders are all over the thing. I know who has the key. This mission has gotten out of hand. I suppose this isn't exactly a trap. I still don't know what to expect from where. It's an old structure, but very well built. These ruffians are lucky to have such a perfect hideout. of the fortress. Now, let us have a look around. Search the basement. Something is amiss. Hey, there's a prisoner down here. And she looks like an academy student. Rescue me? 
Are you all right? What are you doing here? Never mind. We can discuss that later. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, or Kranya will make us wish we were dead. It's not safe here. We must take the girl and run. They're after the girl. Well, we shook this hornet's nest, so it's on us to keep her safe. Out of the way! It's not over. Still here. Hurry up and get rid of them. That should do it. Hurry. Sorry I'm slowing you down. The world is still a little wobbly at the moment. There's a chance to give him the slip! Here it comes! You're done! More bandits that eluded us. Leave none of them. Gotta keep aiming higher. Live. Worthy. They 
defeated a demonic beast? Impossible! Talus isn't going to like this at all. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay! These names are wholly unfamiliar to me. But at least we won the day. Keep aiming high. I must keep aiming higher. I think I've grown. I think I'm improving. I won't let myself stop here. Gotta keep aiming higher. This'll help me break new boundaries. How can I best use this power? Hey, I'm getting better. safe here for the time being. I'm well acquainted with Professor Yuritsa, but the rest of you are this year's Blue Lions, I presume? That's correct. But if I may, how did you come to be wearing our uniform? Also, how do you know Professor Yuritsa? Were you enrolled at the Officer's Academy? She's one of last year's students. A Black Eagle. That would make you our senior, but what are you doing in a place like this? Well, I was just on the verge of graduation last year when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. In truth, I thought I'd never breathe fresh air again. Thank you for coming when you did. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Monica Von Ox, eldest daughter of the Empire's Baron Ox. Hmm, yes. I think I understand. This all began when the Knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the Knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think, for as you know, all swell that ends swell. Ugh. Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind. Hmm? I know you. We saw others in the fortress. This is just a thought. Yeah, there was- I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me. What? What? Everyone was busy speculating. What do you know, child? Well, the one who kidnapped me was Tomas the Librarian. I'm certain of it. I could tell from his gait, and how he held his staff. I suppose he isn't the simple scholar you think he is. Tomas? Impossible! But Tomas has been at Garrick Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? 
Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seem preoccupied with her during the battle. She a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. Gone, vanished, lost. I remember meeting you, but before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck. I couldn't tell you if it was real. And here I thought I had it tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable. Oh, but I do love that about you. And so, the knights have been ordered to apprehend Tomas. As it happens, he's been absent from Garrig Mach for the last several days. They are using this opportunity to prepare quietly, and intend to seize him upon his return. Hard to believe someone within the monastery was working against us. It's shocking, yes, but we have testimony from the very person he ab- No surprise they want to bring the guy in. This could be our only chance to find out about his co-conspirators. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? He used to help me track down all manner of obscure books. I always thought he was just a kind old man. Tomas is the last person I picture as- I asked around, and it seems he's been in his current position. Why he'd choose to lash out at the church now is beyond me. Maybe his feelings aren't new. There could Even if that's true, what is the point of- Ransom, maybe? The kidnapped student is from an- Or maybe he wants to tarnish the- Well, look at you reasoning things out, your new- Your Highness, did this man hire the bandits that attacked you in the mountains? That's what I'm told, but I've yet to confirm it. There is- I don't know about you, but I'm going to feel a lot- You're not alone. Rumors are flying around the monastery about who else might be a traitor. You'd think the church would do a better job vetting the- Maybe it's not so easy to- are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly. I think he's here. Shouldn't we take a moment? There he is! <laughs> That man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. Hmm. This doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? <laughs> For me, a vermin, you will pay for this. Find him! Right! What he did was just like. Prologue Crisis and Ferdiad. Upon his return to Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeshifts and flees, and not even the Knights of Ceres' most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Dimitri elects to keep an eye on events from afar and not involve himself in the disturbance. Soon, however, an urgent message arrives from Ferdiad, capital of the Kingdom of Fargus. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shapeshifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shapeshifting? Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? 
Where do these- If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I- Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shape-shifting. Now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Ah, oh, there you are. Something wrong? No, I... I simply wanted to check in after the unsettling events of the other day. Well, it's not like I'm a quivering wreck. It's gonna make my life a lot harder as my powers end up being evil. Hmm, perhaps. And yet... Hmm... How do I put this? Power is neutral. The good or evil of it comes... For example, I possess extreme strength, and have always believed that... And you... used your power to save us. Didn't mean to fish for sympathy. My apologies if I overstepped. I've been looking all over for you, Prince Dimitri. Her Grace the Archbishop is asking for you. She requests that you come to the audience chamber immediately. Rodrigue is here? I'm... Hold on. What did you say? I've only just heard the news, so it seems my uncle has seized control of the cap. All signs point to him wanting to stamp the line out entirely. That's Felix's family. They're one of the kingdom's leading. I'd wager it has to do with House Fraldarius. The bigger question is why the Grand Duke chose to launch an offensive now of all time. Whatever the reason, he must have decided to act before His Highness's coronation could take place. My uncle claims House Fraldarius is attempting to install me as their puppet. As such, he issued a written appeal to the Western Lords to help him rescue me from the Duke's foul clutches, as he puts it. In what cruel world would our noble house take the reins of a boar like you? Don't ask me, it's his pretext. So what exactly is going on in the capital? You said it's been seized. Oh dear. I do hope nobody there has been met with foul play. He's in no position to engage such a move until I've been removed from the situation. I say the Regent should be dealt with. I haven't heard one good thing about his leadership. I've no intention of becoming a pawn in this game. All the same, I must return to Fargus at once. As you wish, your high- Felix, I'm sure your father- <sighs> Ash? Sorry, it's just that Lenato used to be in the Grand Duke's service, so... He is a man of compassion. It's not out of the question he'll be swayed to my uncle's side. Truth be told, we're not sure where anyone's allegiance, so let's not hasten to conclusion. I'm told you are sending the knights to help us, Lady Rhea. I do not wish to sound ungrateful. But are you sure you want to do that? The Church of Seros cannot overlook this grievance. Regrettably, many of our knights were dispatched elsewhere several days ago on another matter. However, while we may lack numbers, we have put together... It will be captained by someone near and dear to you, in fact. Someone near... Since its very inception, we have watched over the Kingdom of Fargus as one would their own child. When its peace is threatened, I have not forgotten your outpouring of aid after my father's past and... One other thing. A suggestion, if you will, from the church. Interesting. So she wants all of us to go with you? Yes. This time, the Knights of Seros will be accompanying us in addition to Professor Yuritsa. Well, I certainly don't mind. But Annie and Ash, what about you? You know I'm always behind you. But considering what it means for my uncle, I don't know. House Dominic's lands are surrounded by- If I join you, it could- I'll go. I mean, of- But I also know he'd want me to- I'm sorry to place such a difficult decision on your- I'm in. The more time I spend here at the Academy- Besides, I want to use my powers to- <laughs> Indeed. There you go again, throwing yourself headlong into the first conflict you find. No wonder I have to keep stepping in to guide you. Still, we basically have no choice, so run wild, I guess. I'll inform you of the details soon. Please ensure you're prepared by then. 